Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahweh Kodash, with Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rakhah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who rule and teach you all in the scriptures. And salutations to all you Akim out there that are pushing this word in all truth and all sincerity. I have an, uh, another installment of uh, America is Falling. And I believe I'm going to entitle this. Uh, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, tariffs on its allies will lead to its destruction. All right, and uh, if you have uh, if you have been watching the uh, geopolitical arena lately, you see that America is putting sanctions on its uh, allies. Okay, not just Europe, but now you also have Mexico and Canada that have uh, that, that that have sanctions put on them. Okay, and uh, eventually, all these countries are gonna uh, 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 fight America. They're going to send their nuclear missiles to this place, all right, to destroy it. They're gonna team up, and they're gonna uh, basically, you know, see what the uh, root of uh, the root of the problem is, which is America, and it's ultimately designed. By the Heavenly Father, this was uh, predestinated to happen, and we're seeing it play out right before our eyes, okay? You know, and uh, I'm going to get this scripture first. This is Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall uh, bring me down to the ground, okay? You know, and that's Esau eating the so-called white man, but specifically, man, these uh, American Edomites, okay? They're the most uh, uh, stout, okay? Out of uh, all the other Edomites. They're the most proud out of all the other Edomites. Okay, and it's really deceived them. They really think that they can uh, uh, keep bowling the world and nothing's gonna happen. But something is gonna happen. These, uh, these former allies, are gonna uh, break their contract, so to speak, team up together to nuke this place. Okay? You know? Actually, I'm gonna jump down to verse 7, too. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in him. So, the the the, uh, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. They're not going to sit there and keep their alliance uh, 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 treaties with you. Okay, and that's going to break very soon. All right, they're they're going to eventually, you know, gear up for war and fight. Against uh, against uh, the Amer uh, against America, okay. And now I want to get a little bit into this article. It says uh, Trump's decision on tariffs closed doors to other talks. Uh, Macron, all right. Uh, France's president Emmanuel Macron slammed the U.S. move to impose tariffs on steel and aluminum imports from Canada, Mexico, and the European Union, calling the decision unlawful and a mistake. All right, and it's really not a mistake. All right, like I said, the Heavenly Father is controlling the king's uh, heart. All right, actually, let's get that. Let's not even talk about it. Let's get these precepts, all right? Uh, this is uh, oh, uh, Proverbs. I think it's 21. If it's not 21, it's 22. Uh, let's try 22 first. Yeah, it's 21 then. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. As the river of water, he turneth it, whithersoever he will so the, the heavenly father has control of all these kings minds right now okay because the hebrew word for heart is a uh, 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 lob which means mind so the heavenly father is controlling trump to make these decisions okay he's controlling these uh european uh, uh, uh nations all right their their leaders minds right now he's controlling their minds and the rest of them okay you know, China, Russia, all these kings' minds. And it's ultimately so they can uh, 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 
uh, uh, uh, gear up for war against one another. All right. So World War Three can happen. The 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 war to end all wars. All right. Because before uh, uh, Yahweh Shah returns, all right, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, World War Three must be uh, uh must be taking a uh, place. Okay, because it tells you that in uh, what is that the uh, the book of um. Uh, second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter. Yahweh Shah will, will be uh, returning in the midst of World War Three. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. The decision on tariffs made by the U.S. President Donald Trump closed doors to the talks with Washington on other issues. Macron said, as cited by uh, Reuters, this decision is not only unlawful but it is a mistake in many respects. Macron said. Um, Economic nationalism leads to war, and that's true. All right, trade wars will lead to physical wars. We're getting uh, close to that point. It says the French president also announced telephone talks with the U.S. with his U.S. counterpart, expected to take place later on Thursday. The U U.S. president's decision to scrap the landmark 2015 nuclear deal with Iran and today's move to fi uh, finally impose the tariffs on Europe have definitely sourced the uh, bromance between him and Macron, which uh, blossomed only a month ago. The French president earlier vowed to maintain the relationship with Iran and protect Europe companies from any hostile move on part of the U.S. Uh, it, hey, man, it, um, I'm going to keep reading. The initial tariffs were announced in March by the U.S. President Donald Trump, who claimed that the U.S. had been uh, treated unfairly by its trade partners for years. The decision included a worldwide 25% tariff on steel, a 10% tariff on aluminum imports. The EU, Canada, Mexico, and a number of other countries, however, were tempor temporarily exempt from the harsh tariffs from, for a month. The tariffs were waived again a month ago after some potential fruitful uh, decisions about an overall uh, reduction in trade decision. As U.S. Uh, commerce Secretary uh, Wilbur Ro Ross put it put it back then. The decision to extend the ex exemptions, however, was a com Salaki, was accompanied with hostile rhetoric from Trump himself, who even stated that the EU was ultimately founded to rip the U.S. off. While uh, the impo what does it say? While the imposing of the tariffs is perceived in the U.S. as a mean of uh, negotiating with other countries, those targeted uh, see them as a threat and effectively a declaration of trade war. All right, exactly, because that's what it really is. All right, that, that's that's what it comes down to. See, that's the thing. Uh, uh, you mess with the man's money. Okay, you play with his pockets, and then that's gonna get him to fight. Okay, starting off with like I said, these trade wars, but eventually it's gonna just lead to all-out uh, warfare and, that, and that's what the thing about uh, here in America these people don't even know what's going on they have no clue what's going on only a very small number of people actually understand that warfare is uh, actually about to take place the rest of these peons have no clue they think business as usual in America is gonna keep going on forever and ever and ever all right but that's not the truth all right um, we look forward to continued negotiations both with Canada and Mexico on the one hand and with the European Commission on the other hand because there are other issues that we also need to get resolved, Ross said, announcing the end of exemptions on Thursday. Canada, which is the largest supplier of steel to the U.S., has already unveiled retaliation tariffs, which cover uh, $16.6 .6 in imports from the U.S., including whiskey, orange juice, and other products. The EU also has vowed to respond to the U.S. tariff in short order but has not made any steps as of yet. This is a bad day for world trade. So we will immediately int uh, introduce a settlement dispute with the uh, WTO, which is our World Trade Organization, and will announce counterbalancing measures in the coming hours, President of the EU Commission, uh, Jean-Claude said. All right, so this is what's happening in the world. And this is all gonna lead to uh, World War Three. all right? Now I'm gonna get a... Uh, Revelation 17. And I'm going to get the last three verses. 
and it reads Revelation 17 and 16 and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire and those ten horns rep represent the EU and and the beast represents NATO all right because not every uh because there's all, uh, other countries that are in NATO okay they're obviously not a part of the European uh, uh, Union all right and um, they're going to uh, uh, hate the whore, which is America. All right. How it says there, they're gonna uh, shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And how are they gonna do that? They're going to team up together, and they're gonna shoot thermonuclear missiles over here. All right. And right now, we're we're seeing the, uh, you know, these trade wars are are, are uh, getting really hot, man. And it's gonna lead to physical war. First, it's gonna start off. As ground warfare more than likely Alright Because you got to get those troops out there in the Middle East more and more Alright And there's going to be nothing but uh, warfare uh, 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 In the four corners of the world Okay And eventually that's just going to uh, lead to uh, re You know these nukes going off Alright Eventually they're going to have to push that red button because it says, For the Most High hath put it in their hearts to fulfill His will, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, and to the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So this is why this is all happening, because this is the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay? The Heavenly Father wants warfare, okay, to go down. Alright? Verse 18, And the woman which thou sawest in the great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Salaki, I'm going to read that again. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And that's America. They're the ones who are reigning right now. All right? This is that uh, place that, that's uh, got dominance over the world. All right? And um, from there, I'm going to go to uh, Revelation 18. There we go. This is Revelation 18 and 21. It says, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. All right. And that's talking about uh, uh, America, okay? And the reason why that's happening is because it's reaping uh, 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 what's, uh, what it has sown, okay? Because America was established by rape, robbery, murder, uh, destruction chaos all right and it's gonna go out in that fashion as well okay all right the, the lord's not a uh, 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 mocked all right and this place has to go down that way it has to was that numbers 33 and 35 where it said that the, the land can only be cleansed by the, uh, those that shed the blood on that land all right so this place has got to be uh, cleansed in, in that fashion all right warfare death and destruction all right and it's going to be found no more well once this place uh, goes up in flames it's done man the lord's going to uh, have this as a, a a memorial of how not to live all right and with that i'm going to give all praise honor glory to y'all about shimmy all shy double honors to the apostles and that was a great millstone and salutations to you akim shalom